Hey, hello, my friends. Paul Apollonia here. Hope everybody is well today. I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay from October 12th to October 18th, 2020. Hey, I want to apologize for the delay in getting you this video. We were actually away last week for about five days down in Myrtle Beach, a much needed vacation just the wife and i which was awesome actually we were going to stay there for three days we kept on going another day another day <laughs> but we finally came home had a lot of good sales while i was gone um been on ebay for 20 plus years loving it uh becoming more and more of a full-time thing i do a few other things on the side but less and less side stuff and more just concentrating on ebay and online stuff ebay is my main venue excuse me I am working on other venues, but eBay is my main venue. It works good for me for what I'm selling. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like. I really love that. I, I, I love everyone. I know it's not many people. 474 is not many to many YouTubers out there, but I love every one of you guys. Thanks for subscribing. I hope I'm giving you good value and good content. A lot of my videos are what I sold. Uh, some tips and tricks on eBay how to fix things around the house, how to be frugal, uh, you name it, how to ship stuff. Tons of videos out there for you guys. Uh, check out the um, the training course I've got. I've discounted it quite a bit. Martin Ross and myself did it a couple years ago, so it's an older course, but it is evergreen, meaning there's a lot of great tips and tricks you can still use today. Like I said, it's very affordable. It's about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes, broken down in about 15, 20 minute videos, so you don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing at once. And we take you from an item that we found, pictures, how we found it, taking pictures, listing it, shipping it, questions that you may have. It's a pretty darn good video, if I say so myself. Um, what I do, I do a lot of consignment as far as getting items. I love consignment. Consignment is not for everybody. Remember, example, this might have been, you go to somebody's house and they go, man, this is my grandfather's coffee mug. He had this dog and he loves, looks like a Springer Spaniel, and he loved his dog and he drank out of this coffee mug every day. So this coffee mug is worth about, you know, 200 bucks because he drank out of it. No, it's not. It's worth about whatever this coffee mug is worth, um, $5, $10. So just find people that know, that, that understand they're going to get market value for their items. You're going to try and get as much as you can for them, but they're going to get market value as the bottom line. Uh, if they have an emotional attachment, like, like for example, if I go to somebody's house and they say, ooh, this mug is my grandfather's, and they go on to this whole story, I say, let's put that mug aside. Why don't you keep that mug um, and think about it? And maybe why don't you take a pic? If you want to sell this mug later on, why don't you take a picture of you drinking out of this mug or this mug sitting next to something your grandfather had, his pipe or whatever, so you remember that way if you want to sell it. That usually works that way. Um, if I go in and a lot of people have a lot of emotional attachment to a lot of stuff, it's kind of like an American Pickers type thing. Sometimes you don't do well. <laughs> but I also do parting out of items too. I, I sell a lot of parts, dishwashers. I get uh, appliances for free on Craigslist or people give them to me. Tell everybody what you're doing. Hey, I'm selling on eBay. Hey, I'm selling on Amazon. Hey, I'm whatever. And keep on reminding them because people give me tons and tons of stuff. Meaning all the stuff you're going to see here, I rarely ever pay for anything. It's either through consignment. People give it to me. I do go thrifting. I go to a thrift store in my area every once in a while, but once a week, just walk around. And I do find things there, but that's not my main thing. I don't really enjoy thrifting that much. I, it, to me, it's it's a lot of time, but I guess people can say consignment's a lot of time. So it's a give and take, whatever you enjoy. Let's get the show on the road. Let's show you what I sold for last week. I can't believe we've, we're all caught up after this video. Um, I have, let me shrink this so you don't see my ugly mug. I'm going to tell you where the item came from. This is a consignment item. I said in my last video, I hooked up with a guy. Make friends with your competitors if they're normal people and friendable and not feel like you're a threat, uh, a guy by the name of Trader Chris, that's his company name, in Pittsburgh, about an hour away from me, does consignment, same consignment. We're both eBay consigners, but he does high-end consignment. He does like high, high, high-end stuff, stuff that I never would get and really don't want to get. Every once in a while, he'll get a person, you know, that calls him that, you know, is my, is not lower end, but my kind of consignment person. 
and he contacted me um, or this guy contacted him right before the pandemic and with everything going on, Chris forgot to get the name to me. He got the name to me. I contacted him and he used to be a salesman for water pick hunter fans and Stanley tools. And he has a ton of stuff. So I went over his house one day. We spent about an hour. We loaded my van up for an hour, brought it home, unloaded it. I listed a bunch of stuff. Um, the water pick stuff is selling really well. I actually contacted him about a week ago, two weeks ago, and said he got any more water pick stuff. He did find some more stuff, and that is selling well. So I'm selling probably five to ten of these a week. Not making a lot of money, but it's money coming in. I make half of that, so $19.99 minus, or minus, divided by two. Oh, brother. Um, plus shipping, I do make a lot. Of, I'm not, I, I do make some money on shipping. Uh, that went out first class, so I probably made about a buck or two on that. I have no problems making money on shipping. Buyer sees the flat rate shipping. I don't want to hear why you're charging me that much. You see what I'm charging. It does take time and money to ship something. Seems like people have no problem paying a handling charge on TV or when they hear something on the radio or whatever. They got a big problem paying for shipping, but... Um, So we got 19.99. I'm sorry, my dogs were barking out there. Got me distracted. Um, so there you go. Not bad there. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> Next item, another low end item. I have no problem selling things for this price as long as it is a quick pickup. This was an old, 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 old consignment item. Like when did I list this? There we go, November 2019. So we're going on almost a year this thing was on eBay. I have some stuff. You'll see. If I remember, I'll show you. I've got stuff that's been out there for two years. I have no problem with that. Um, you need to update your items on. That's one thing I'm not doing. Person gave me a bunch of stuff. This happens a lot too when you look at assignment, which is really, really cool. They give you a bunch of stuff. You try and sell it. Some stuff you try and sell. Some stuff you haven't even listed yet. And two, three months down the road, they said, I've moved, or I've moved on, or I've downsized, or I just don't want this stuff back again. And I say to them, what do you want me to do with it? Uh, you can either donate it, or you can just sell it, keep the money, whatever. Most of the time I say, do you mind if I just sell it and keep whatever little bit I get? So I didn't make much money off of this, off of this free shipping, first class. How did I ship this? I wrapped it in cardboard, and then I wrapped it in brown paper or bubble wrap. I have had success shipping these just in bubble wrap. Um, I only had one plate break, and that was my fault. I, I I didn't ship that right. And it kills me when these plates break like this because these are like one-of-a-kinds. Um, it's amazing. They're one-of-a-kinds, but you can't get more than $14.99 for them. Okay. <laughs> um, all my pictures are done on my phone. Nothing fancy. I use a combination for listing. I use a combination of my phone and uh, eBay on my computer, my Chromebook. I use a Chromebook. I love a Chromebook. They're easy to use. They're not a PC or a Mac. Just remember that when you're looking at them. They run on a Chrome operating system. So again, that's this is my item. Didn't make a whole lot of money. Probably made about eight bucks on this, maybe seven fifty after shipping and fees. And then probably more than that, maybe eight bucks. I'll take it. We're good. I, I like I said, I have no problem. This was a air compressor. I parted out. I had this air compressor for years in my garage. It was very, very, very old. Air compressor, probably 20 years old. I sold the compressor part. Long story, that was a couple of videos back. A guy called me, uh, contacted me. He said, hey, I'm in South Carolina. I can come up and get the air compressor part. And I thought, hmm, I can meet him down at the outlet mall. So I met him down at the outlet mall. Um, came out from the outlet mall, tried to start my van. It was, wouldn't start, and it just was a mess. My concern was to get him his air compressor and figure out what was wrong with my van. And he ended up staying with me, playing with my van, waited for the tow truck, and said, here, I'll drive you back. So it was like a half an hour out of his way. It was pretty incredible. Um, I actually had the tank with me, too, and I was going to sell him the tank, and I just gave him the tank. But uh, so this is the motor off of the uh, air compressor. Uh, goes for a good bit of money, as you can well see. It was very heavy, 37 pounds or 38 pounds. I think I got it. FedEx shipped it for 36 six dollars or thirty seven dollars I can't thirty nine dollars I can't remember so I made a few dollars on shipping I had to buy a heavy duty box at Lowe's I had to use a lot of um I don't have it in front of me or near me 
padding that I got from a dumpster. But again, I mean, hey, I get it from a dumpster, my time, my energy. So I made a few bucks on shipping, but the box alone cost me $1.45. Um, so anything, I sell anything and everything. When I'm selling stuff like this, I am very um, particular on pictures I take, all the sides, information on the motor, even another shot so they see it better. Um, I even took a picture of the uh, uh, air compressor tank model number so they know where it came from. Seems like these are very popular air compressors. All these item specifics I put in by hand. It did take me a while to put in by hand. But then again, I knew I was making big bucks off of this because it was mine. And I made very, very good money on this. And it shipped out pretty quickly. And I think it's still on its way. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going down to Florida somewhere. Miami, outside of Miami. But um, so take your time to put in item specifics. Very, very important. It's what people search on or it's what people searched on and what people search on for Google. And it will get your items sold. Please, please, please use item specifics. That was a great sale. I was very happy with that one. Like I said, I sold a lot more than this. This is just select items. Another water pick filter. I have no idea what the heck this filter is for. I just list them. I sell about one a week. Don't make a whole lot of money. Well, you know, for half of that, what's that, $5 roughly. And then shipping, I make a buck or two on. Um, goes at the high end of 16 ounces. Remember, when you're shipping through eBay, first class post office is 16 ounces. If you take that same package to the post office, first class only goes up to 13 ounces. So remember that. Um, so it didn't make a whole lot of money on that, but it's fine. I don't mind. Like I said, I don't mind making a couple bucks on something if I can list it quick and ship it quick, and it's not a big ordeal to deal with. A lot of people don't touch things less than 20 bucks, $25 profit. That's totally fine. I don't tell people how to run their business. We all run our businesses our own way, but I will. If I can make a buck, I'll make a buck. You've seen some of the stuff is pretty low end that I sell. Another consignment item from the uh, guy I got all the Hunter fan stuff from. I've been selling about one of these a week, two of these a week, which is fine with me. Um, goes into a big eBay. Hang on a second. I'm sorry. It goes into one of these eBay envelopes, basically. A big poly envelope. Not a poly. It's just a plastic envelope. I put in our wrap some brown paper around the thermostat um, area here is, is what I wrapped the paper around. And I let it go like that. And it's getting there without a problem. Um, and it goes out right at the edge of 16 ounces for first class. I mean, right at the edge. <laughs> you know, like really close to 16 ounces. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Um, so that's good. So I make a buck or two off for shipping. Uh, what the heck is that? That is a, um, a blower tube. Uh, these are what they call long tail sales. Let me see. When did I list this? Oh, no, this was May. So not really. A couple months to sell it. Usually these stay out there for a while. Um, I'm surprised these things are still in use because this is off a very old blower. But I show all the ends. Um, now what I could have done, I had... It was giving me problems shipping this out of 24 inches for some reason, first class. So I kind of knocked it down to 22 inches. But I got there. Um, I could not get it apart. I tried to unscrew this. And sometimes they come apart and sometimes they don't. Um, I should have played it a little bit longer, but I wasn't making a whole lot of money on this. Uh, I probably made about $16 on this, which was fine. It was something I pulled off of a blower that I was throwing out. As you can see, I saw anything and everything here. Thermostats, blower pieces. This is uh, an item that was in my store for a very, very long time. Let's look at when I listed it. March 19th, 2019. Got this at the, at a, at the thrift store. And I don't think I paid much money for it. I think I paid about $15 for this. Maybe $10. Well, let's even say $20 for this. Um, and I did very well shipping it. Uh, I think it cost me $15. FedEx, it went out. How did I ship this? I had foam, big, thick foam that somebody gave me, big sheets of it. Whoops. And I cut it to the size of the box. Put, put a layer, put another layer, laid this flat. Oh, first I took the, you can't see it, but that stand there, I took that off four Phillips screws. I took that off and I screwed the screws back into where they were so they didn't get lost. So I put the two pieces of foam down on a the box. Then I laid this LCD 
thing screen facing up and then I laid everything else around it, wrapped this in paper. Oh, I'm pointing, you can't see it, but I'm pointing my finger or something you can't see. I wrapped <laughs> the um, the cord, the power cord in paper and that in paper and the, um, the foot. The stand, uh, I laid it underneath one of the pieces of foam. Then I put two more pieces of foam on top of it. And then I used my box sizer tool and trimmed the box down to the right size. This was, again, this was a Lowe's heavy duty box. The medium one, Lowe's Home Improvement medium one, about two bucks for the box. So I'm already two bucks in for the shipping just from the box, which is fine because I'd rather use a heavy duty box. And folded it real tight so it wouldn't move around. And it got delivered about three days ago, and I haven't heard any problems with it. So we should be good to go. But again, that was in my store for well over a year. Um, things do hang around. I never did too many updates to the item. I just left it sit out there. I should not have done that. I should have periodically went in and updated something, changed a word, put a space in something. So it would have sold faster. Um, I was very clear with the uh, some wear on the screen, some scratches from wear. So I was very clear. I even have, I went pretty elaborate with the pictures too. I mean, there's the, 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 the label, the remote working, that's it not, because I don't have it hooked up to anything. I don't have anything to hook it up to. Mine one, game, component, and then that, and then I've got component, game. Don't I have a picture of it on? There we go, some arsenic and lace uh, DVD I found. I put it in there. And there you go. So, and I made pretty good money on that. Like, again, I, I think I spent 10 or $15 to buy that. I forget what I paid for it. It's in my records somewhere. Should have had that information out for you. Uh, cookbooks. I listed a bunch of cookbooks last around Christmas, January, maybe. My wife was going to gonna donate a bunch of them. I said, no, no, no. Don't donate. <laughs> Let's sell them on eBay. Um, I knew I was going to make a whole lot of money on these, obviously. Uh, 11 eleven twenty nine with free shipping. I'm lucky to make maybe 6 bucks on these which is fine. Uh, it's a very quick ship. It goes out media mail. I just shove it into one of these poly envelopes, fold it over nice and tight. Put, I wish I put a stamp, weigh it, put a label on it, and it goes out media mail. And that's it. So it probably costs about two fifty to ship it out. It's a pretty heavy book uh, via media mail. There is money in cookbooks, first editions, and signed cookbooks go for pretty decent money. You're selling any book. First edition of any book goes for good money. Blower housing. This was the last one I think I sold. I have sold probably 35 of these this year alone. I average about 14 to 16. I average about 13 to 15 dollars profit on each of these. Not a lot, but they do sell. I'm unfortunately out of them. The funny thing is, a couple of years ago I listed I listed them and didn't sell one. And this year, I sold all 30 of them. There are different styles of these. Remember, um, very quickly to take these off, there are two bolts here on that side. And there's a couple bolts there. You take them a half inch, I think, and 7 16 up here. Take them off the mower. Make sure it works properly. Um, make sure the rope is good. Funny, I, I, I still can't. Yeah, there's your two front bolts. Um, just make sure when you sign these, you take very good pictures of the sides. Oops. Where is, there we go. The sides, there are all different cutouts. Make sure you are showing the sides because different cutouts for different engines. And that is pretty much, that side's always standard like that. And that side's always like that. But this is the side you really need to take a picture of. And I have, knock on wood... Have not had one return on these. Haven't had any questions. And I'm very clear with, I pulled these out of a bunch of different machines. Um, obviously, I'm selling multiples. Every time I'm selling multiples, I always put this little thing in my description and in my condition description up there. As you see, these are multiple. They may not be the one you see. Um, make sure it matches the one you are replacing. Um, and I also say rope lengths may be different because I am selling them from pressure washers, lawn mowers. Um, the rope, the rope length is going to be all different. Most people probably just replace the rope. Trying to go as fast as I can here. So I respect your time. Another 
Longtime engine part. The believe it or not, these plastic covers do sell. I don't know why you would replace it, but people do. Um, and it can be pretty beat up too. Like this one's got scuffs and everything on it. And this has been sitting in my store for over a year. Um, made, you know, probably $16 on this. It went out first class or right on the edge of 16 ounces. Remember, eBay, when you ship things through eBay, post office first class goes up to 16 ounces. When you ship, things post office you go to the post office first class goes up to 13 ounces so you get more ounces for the money and you get discounted through ebay um how i ship this you may ask i have this white plastic that i found in the dumpster at fedex years ago big huge roll of it it's actually um clear peel the back and it's clear you can put it on things i didn't realize that and i just wrap it in that and i tape the living heck out of it so it's got a weird shape to it but it goes out without a problem um these do sell they take a while to sell uh, the toro ones sell real well off of the toro mowers uh, the older ones the big thick plastic ones they sell for good money like 35 dollars you can get for those um, old lawn boy stuff sells real well the, the shrouds off of those what they call that Let's go to the next item, another consignment item from the Hunter fan guy, the fan salesman, did very well on this. $33 for one filter. It's an old filter, probably 20 years old. I have sold two of these to one buyer in California and this one to somebody else. Again, I make half the profit there, $15. How do I ship this? Again, I just wrapped it in cardboard. I cut open a box I had. Instead of trying to find a box that fits this thing, which I could not because it's so narrow and so wide, and um, I just wrapped it in cardboard and just folded the, the ends up like a gift and taped the living heck out of it and shipped it that way. Uh, I got several more I'm trying to sell of those. Item specifics are very important. I try, I take the time to fill out as many as I can on those. Another water pick thing from the same gentleman. See, uh, some consignment gigs are really, really good. <laughs> not all of them you can sell a lot of stuff some stuff just hangs around and hangs around but i'm selling a good bit of this water pick stuff which i'm happy another 15 dollars in my pocket let's say after the sale uh these go into an a box seems like all these water pick toothbrushes or gum cares or oral cares whatever they call these things go right into an a box from the post office you can only get these online you cannot get these at the post office Although, but let me show you something you can get, or at least at my post office, I'm seeing more and more of. Oops. Sorry. These uh, padded flat rate envelopes. We used to only get these online. These are pretty cool. If it fits, it ships. You can put up to 70 pounds or 40 pounds or whatever in these things. And I've shoved a lot of things in these things. Back in the day, I did consignment for a thrift store that was getting trailer loads of neiman's marcus i'm probably saying that wrong clothes defective clothes and i was shipping children's parkas in those things parkas had little tiny holes in them i was making a fortune they were making a fortune then one day they decided to stop doing business it's weird sometimes that happens when you're doing business with stores i think they decide they could do it themselves and unfortunately they went out of business shortly after um but oh well. But no, these go into an A box, which is great. So it's seven ninety five, I think, for the A box to go out. So I make a buck on shipping, and that's totally fine with me. I do not refund. I don't know if I said this before in this video. I do not refund the difference in shipping at all. The price is what you see. Um, if it's if I see a lot of sold free shipping, then I do free shipping. But make sure you add the cost, pad your price to add to to make up for the shipping. Don't do free shipping and. Take the cost out of your original price to make sure you bump the price up, figure out what the shipping may cost. Um, I do a lot of guesstimating and shipping, to be honest with you. I've been doing this for years, so I'm pretty good at it. But sometimes I take a loss. Sometimes I gain. It, it all it all comes out in the end. You know, I don't worry about it anymore. Even with the consignment stuff, sometimes I lose a little money. Sometimes I gain. It all depends. So the water pick stuff is selling pretty good. Cigar boxes do well. I am a cigar smoker, not that big of a cigar smoker. All depends who you ask. No. <laughs> With the pandemic and being at home more, I um, smoke a little bit more. But I uh, go to the cigar store, wine store, and these are free where I'm at. Some places charge for them. I would not pay any more than 
a dollar for a good cigar box. Because you're not making much money on these. That's about the average price the cigar box goes for on eBay. They do sell. I've got a ton. I've got a list. It's been months since I've listed cigar boxes. I've got three shelves full of cigar boxes. I'm going to go check and see if they have more cigar boxes today for some reason because I don't have enough, you know, that aren't listed. Um, so I average about six bucks, six, seven bucks on these after shipping. Free shipping is what everybody else is doing. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm not making a lot of money, but again, I'm getting it for free. I'm going buy my cigars. Oh, there are cigar boxes up there. I grab it and hopefully most of them go out under 16 ounces. Most. This did not go out under 16 ounces. So I'm sorry. I did not make, I think I made about 450 on this, but I wrap it in bubble wrap a little bit. I don't go crazy with wrapping these things. I put them in one of these poly envelopes. Like I said, use any poly envelope. It doesn't have to be an eBay envelope. I get those uh, not for free, but eBay gives me $50 a month because I have a, a premium store, I think it is. I think the regular store, you get $25 a month for free, not not free, not not a month, a quarter for not free shipping supplies. You're paying your, your fee every month. Um, but cigar boxes do sell. Uh, certain ones do these. Padrones, uh, just certain boxes. Just look them up. They do sell. People use these things for a plethora of different things. I always ask people sometimes when they buy them, what are you using it for? Some people use it for marble collections. Some people make guitars out of them. Uh, some it's just they make like like they use them for like electronic projects sometimes, uh, amps, um, control units. It's just, they use them for everything. So there's a whole market out there for these things. But again, I would not pay anything. I wouldn't pay any more than a dollar a piece because you ain't making a lot of money on these. You're probably making six, seven dollars most on these. Another piece of that grill. If I didn't show you this, another piece of that grill from a friend of mine that thinks he's moving. He's not quite sure, but he's giving me a lot of stuff to sell. And he gave me a Weber grill. I love selling Weber parts because they do sell. They may take a little while to sell, but they do sell. Um, I've sold almost every piece of it is grill except for the frame. Uh, and the burners were worn out. And I don't know why that is coming up. That should not be coming up. Sorry, that blocked that thing. Um, so I did good. Uh, it went out to California. I think it went out FedEx home, which was great. It was $13 and change. Very close to $14. And I used the same foam I used to do the TV uh, DVD player from before. One layer. Lay it on top, one layer, and use my box sizer tool again. What did I do with it? The same tool I showed before. I don't know what I do. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Trim the box down. Another heavy duty box cost me a buck. So, you know, I'm, I'm already there. We go. I'm, I'm at the point of not making money on shipping, which is fine with that one after shipping and win some, lose some. But uh, wish it would have shipped uh, to somewhere else but the West Coast. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Now, I could do calculated shipping, um, and, and, and that's great. When I do calculated shipping, I'll be quite honest with you, I may add a, a maybe a pound to it or, you know, a little bit just to make a little bit of money on it. So I'm um, not eating, not that I spend, I'm, I get most of my boxes for free, and I get my packing material. I get companies that I go to on a regular basis. And get stuff. Not a big dollar item here, like a no dollar item here. I think I made a dollar twenty-five on this, a piece to a dice, and this is the after your beater bar, the tube that goes up into the vacuum cleaner. That's your I'm pointing, and you can't see my finger. That is your tube that goes up into the vacuum cleaner. Short little tube, uh, not a big dollar sale. Like I said, I put it in one of these padded envelopes and shipped it out like that. Um, I could have, and many sellers do put it in this envelope and put two stamps. I think each stamp covers an ounce. I think it went out at one ounce, but I would put two just to cover myself. So yeah, boy, that'd be a lot cheaper to do it that way. But then I don't get any protection from eBay and I get no tracking information if I use stamps. I know many sellers do it. I know sellers bigger than me do it. And if it, if it gets lost, they just refund the person. And to be honest with you, I probably should do that, but I like being able to have the tracking information within eBay. Another water pick thing, Dyson, back to Dyson parts. Dyson parts do sell. They sell well, but they may take a while to sell. Actually, I have a Dyson vacuum cleaner I found in the trash about a month ago, and I still haven't even parted it out. It works, but it's better for me to part it out and make more money. 
than trying to sell it as whole or on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Here we go, another water pick thing. So how many is that I sold already just that week alone? Three or four of these at $15 a piece. Uh, that's good for me. Um, I don't need a whole lot of money to live, to be honest with you. Been there, done that, and it's, it's okay. I'm happy where I'm at. Love the freedom. <laughs> but um, so there's another $15. And again, went into an A box, uh, $7.99. Did pretty well on that. I need to call him or contact him and see if he has any more of these water pick things. Uh, this is a radio I bought at a ham fest, which is a big um, outdoor amateur radio ham radio operators flea market. N3GCA is my call sign. I'm not very active, but I go to these things for one thing only to flip items to sell on eBay. And I do very, very, very well doing that. I just have an eye for certain things. And guy said this worked. It was $10. He gave me his phone number. He said, if this doesn't work, just give me a call. I'll give you your money back. Don't worry about it. You can keep the item. It was 10 bucks. It was fine. I, it, it, I'm, I'm not going to go chasing people. You know, it's just, you're buying things off of people you don't know. Of course, it's not going to work. It did not work. Oh, wait. It did work with the batteries, but I didn't say it worked with the batteries. Um, one thing when you're selling things for parts and not working, Make sure, even if it does power on, that you do not show it powered on. Then people will think that it is working, and it is not working. Had a lovely chat with Brian Burke from eBay several times about this, and he recommended that you do not show it working at all when you're selling it for parts. Now, because people can still do returns or for, uh, for parts or not working. Years ago, you couldn't. It was almost like you were selling it as is. But I'm very clear with my description, even my condition description. But let's scroll down here because it's the same thing that I put my condition description down here for parts or repair, not working. You're buying a non-working radio and nothing else. Okay, I'm very clear. You're not buying any cords. You're not buying any power cords. You're buying the radio as it is. I had one guy message me and message me just talking about the radio. Like, I need something to tinker with whatever okay buy the radio well he didn't buy the radio somebody else bought the radio the next day so ten dollars i paid for this so what i make uh went to philadelphia i think i think it cost me 850 to ship it maybe nine something to ship it some couple dollars shipping paid made a couple dollars for shipping so what i make about 18 dollars on this maybe that's cool i'll take that all I did was $10. Thank you. I'll buy that. And actually, I'm looking it up on eBay on my phone before I buy these things. As I walk to the guy's table, I got my phone. I'm looking up stuff. I'm scanning the table. I'm looking up things. Um, so that was good. I love doing that stuff. That's that's what I like doing. But just make sure you're clear when you're selling something. Parts not working. I don't recommend newbies, new eBay people doing parts or not working. Get some experience. Get some sales behind you. Learn how to ship. Get, get everything figured out, then start messing with things that don't work. There is tons of money and stuff that does not work. This is an item I bought at the thrift store, believe it or not. I do do some thrifting every once in a while. Usually when I'm coming home from golf on Thursday, I try and play golf every Thursday morning. I'm spending some time to myself with friends of mine. Um, I stop at the thrift store on my way home, either to drop off things that aren't selling or just to look around and see what they got. And they had these pet ramps, $13 a piece. Um, I did very well on this. I made $35 after everything was done. Fees and shipping. I made some money on shipping and went down to Georgia. And you're thinking, how, how did you ship this? Again, I wrapped it in cardboard. I did go to Lowe's. It, the, box, the box cost me $3, maybe even more than $3. But that's all I had to buy was the box. So I'm already in $3 on shipping. Paid $13 for it. I'm already in $3 for shipping. And I laid this, cut the box open, flipped it inside out. So the writing's on the inside. This was the heavy duty large box or extra large box from home improve, uh, from uh, Lowe's Home Improvements. I can't remember. Laid it out, folded it like a Christmas gift, and it didn't make it. There was about an inch and a half space. So I got my uh, Gorilla Tape, my black Gorilla Tape, which I don't use too much of that. It's expensive, and I just taped it to make up for that difference. So it was taped. Um, 
And I just folded it, cut it, folded it like a Christmas gift again, wrapped it over, and used tons and tons of tape. I use about, here's my, one of my tape guns. I use about, it's eBay tape, obviously, but I get that for my, the program, the, um, every quarter. Um, I use about a quarter of a roll of tape every time I do, uh, gift wrapping of this type, I guess you'd call it. So you do use a lot of tape, but, uh, it's pretty secure. And I've done, I've, I've shipped a lot of things wrapping it in cardboard like that. Um, I was tempted to cut around the handle and leave the handle so they could pick it up, but it was pretty light. It was, I think it weighed about 12 pounds or something when it was all wrapped and it did go FedEx. I was trying to do it post office, but it, it did go FedEx, uh, ground, I think down to, uh, Georgia. So, um, like I said, $3 for shipping, made a couple bucks on shipping, probably made about three or four bucks on shipping after all said and done. But I had to take all that time to manipulate the box and cut the box and everything else. So uh, keep an eye out for those. I do have one more ramp, but it's pretty beat up. It looks like a bear tried to climb it because <laughs> it's all scratched up with these big claw marks through the uh, <laughs> through the sandpaper. I mean, through the attraction thing. <laughs> I don't know what Some crazy raccoon or something. Um, one more item. Sorry, trying to go as fast as I can here. This was a... Give me items, consignment items, kind of arrangement thing with a woman I know that's moving to be closer to their grandbabies, which is really cool, up in a very colder climate that I wouldn't really want to move to. Um, boy, that's a pretty bad picture, isn't it? Um, and Nintendo, these do sell, even if they're not working. And they sell for good money not working. Uh, I did plug the batteries in. Plug the batteries in. I did put the batteries in, and the screen came on, but it flashed a couple times, and I did not, again, because I'm selling the parts not working. I was not about to show it with the screen on in any way. So I figured I'll just take some really bad pictures here of this. Holy heck. <laughs> Usually my pictures are much better than this, but it did sell within a day, um, and I made pretty good money. So even if I do consignment, it would be half of that. Um, at this point, I think they were just give, a lot of people just give you stuff, you know, when you call them up, here's your, ah, that's okay. Um, so I did pretty good, $27.99, uh, after, let's say if I were to keep the money, I did really, really well because it went out first class. I think I took the insurance out for the first class. I can't remember. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but uh, so I did pretty good on that. Even like I said, if assignment would be half of that. So that's still pretty good for a quick list. Crappy pictures, wrap it in something and put it in one of these and ship it out first class. I think it went out at 13 ounces, how much it pounds. Well, that is it for last week. I want to thank you so much for watching. Let me flip back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Love every single one of you, 474 subscribers. I know it's small potatoes of many YouTubers, but thank you so much for everyone that subscribed. It means the world to me. Um, uh, don't forget about the eBay course I mentioned. That's uh, that's in the link. Um, and uh, my trainings uh, are available through Zoom if you're interested in that. would love to do one-on-one -on -one trainings. I do that all the time with people. Uh, one problem I had and, and I'm having lately uh, real quick, just I meant to mention this earlier, is uh, insurance claims. FedEx, I have hadn't, haven't had any problem getting insurance claims to FedEx. If something gets damaged, um, I have the person send me pictures, and I upload them through the FedEx claims thing, and they send me a check almost immediately. Within two weeks, I've got a check. Post office now is giving me a problem with they want to see the package. Um I had that problem uh, just recently with a $24 item. I got it for free from my father-in-law. Those were, if you follow my videos, those were the tile towel holders things. And I shipped it out and one of them was broken. And these are like irreplaceable. You can't replace these things. They're not around anymore. That's why I'm selling them because they're just, they're from the 50s and 60s. They're not making them weird colored, brightly colored 70s and 60s colors. Um, the woman was upset. She, she, she messaged me back. She said, they're broken. Do I have any replacements? No, I don't because I don't have any olive green replacements. 
Um, so I had her send me pictures and the label and everything. I've never had a problem with, with post office until this time. Then they wanted, then they sent me a letter. I thought, great, my check came, but it wasn't, it was a letter. They wanted the box. And when we take the box to the post office, I don't have the box. And it was weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to even message this person to see if they still have this box and the damaged items. I'm sure they threw it away. So I don't know how to handle that next time. I was not about to get, I was not about to pay for shipping back. That would have been another $7. And what am I going to make after that? It's just not worth it. Um, so how I work a, a damage ref, a, a damage is I, I refund them and then I handle the claim. Somebody said, no, that's the wrong way, but I don't know how else to do it. They're saying they should, they should do it. And, but how do I get my money back? So I don't know. <laughs> FedEx gives me no problems. Post offices give me a problem. A lot of people do, I guess, what I'm doing. They call it self-insurance. They charge a little bit more on shipping and they make money here and there on shipping. And that is their, um, you know, their insurance, I guess. But that's my only problem I've had uh, this week. Other than that, everything's been Jim Dandy. I want to thank you for watching. I want to apologize if this has been longer than normal. I um, just uh, want to show you what I sold, select the items I sold. And I want to do a video of the items I sold while I was away on vacation. I did very, very well for those five days. Hey, have a good day. Got to wear that mask, wear the mask. I know I hate it too, <laughs> but let's get rid of this virus so we can get our lives back to whatever normal will be. Wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. And uh, don't touch your face, people. You guys have a great day, and thanks so much for watching.